down into Long Beach, up into parts of Orange County, Anaheim, even into the Whittier Hills. We're seeing some of those showers currently up into Pasadena, Glendora, the foothills of uh, the San Gabriel Mountains, starting to see some showers still too. Uh, Ventura County, Thousand Oaks, even into parts of Calabasas, western Malibu, you're seeing light rain currently. And I want to show you where the heavy stuff is because it's sitting to our north right now. Off the coast of Santa Barbara, we have a heavy little pocket of rain right there. And then Santa Inez up to our north, seeing some lightning strikes. So that's just giving us the idea uh, that we do have the potential to see thunderstorms in your forecast throughout the day. The best chance will be over the higher elevations and as we head into this afternoon. So Futurecast does show cloudy skies on and off scattered showers continuing throughout your day for your Friday. Uh, this evening will actually be cloudy, cool, could see some drizzle, but we're going to get a break from the rain as we head into tomorrow morning. I think we'll start your Saturday with overcast conditions, some drizzle possible just because of that thick cloud cover, but it's not really until tomorrow afternoon that we'll see that low spinning up some more of that moisture. And then as we head into Sunday for your Mother's Day, I do think we're going to start the day uh, with dry but cloudy conditions and bets the best chance to see rain will be in the afternoon over the higher elevations as that low moves off to the east. So scattered showers throughout the day today, afternoon thunderstorms for the mountains and deserts uh, in your forecast for today, tomorrow and Sunday up to half an inch possible of rain for the coasts and valleys up to two inches possible for the mountains. If we see those thunderstorms popping up, the main threats, heavy rain, lightning and even possibly some hail. So downtown, good visibility. We do have some patchy dense fog into the Inland Empire. Winds are on shore as that area of low pressure is spinning just uh, overhead. It's going to continue to shift southwest throughout the day. Tonight into tomorrow, it'll be just to our south. And keep in mind, all the mo moisture is rotating counterclockwise around this. So uh, we're not going to see a cold front bringing steady rain through the area. This is a different kind of weather pattern that we're watching tomorrow. That low will be off uh, to the east and then Sunday well to the east. But we could see those showers in the afternoon.